Welcome to Jasmine Fields Speaks. This is Jasmine Fields. On this channel, we focus on ways to make your life easier, happier, healthier, and wealthier. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. We're going to jump right into five items that I absolutely think that every new baby under the age of one needs. I'm a mom of an 11 month old little Lily and we're also about five months pregnant. These items are must haves that got us through that first year with Lily and we'll definitely continue using with baby number two. So item number one is Nose Frida. Now I have to be honest that before having Lily, the thought of sucking snot out of my baby's nose with my mouth was absolutely a no-go. Like you could end up with snot in your mouth, that's completely gross. But one thing that most people do not tell you, babies are sick almost the entire first year that they are alive. They have low immune systems, they are exposed to other kids, usually at daycare or something like that. I will tell you that it only takes one hospital visit or one bronchiolitis clinic visit to show you that them sticking that long tube down your baby's nose, which I definitely feel like is hooked up to a generator. I don't care what anybody says, it's a generator. And they're sucking your baby's nose and your baby is miserable and they're screaming. It only takes one time for you to figure out that this little bulb syringe thing that they gave you at the hospital is for the birds. So we started using the Nose Frida and it works magnificently. Um, you can use it with or without saline. We usually use it with saline because it breaks up the mucus and you can get it out better. Um, but this is the Nose Frida. It comes with this long tube, which you're going to put at the end of the baby's nostril. You're going to suck, obviously, with this end. Now, this does come apart, which is really nice because it makes it super easy to clean. Um, I am not an affiliate of Amazon or um, Nose Frida in general, so this is the actual one that we have used over and over. And as you can see, we've used it for a year and it still looks really great. It does have a filter on the inside, so you're not actually going to taste any snot. As a matter of fact, our rule of thumb is the these filters are replaceable, so if snot even touches it, then we throw out that filter and put in a new one. The filters are very inexpensive, so it's worth just buying a pack of them and replacing them. So Nose Frida is amazing. Now, like I said, we did try other nasal aspirators. We used the bulb syringe that you can get in the hospital. We even had the hospital grade. and. I couldn't figure out how to clean it. People were talking about mold growing in them. I, I just, it, it didn't work. I didn't feel comfortable and you can never see what you're getting. Uh, you can see what you've collected inside the nose, Frida. Um, we also tried one of those expensive nasal aspirators. I spent like 35 or 40 bucks on a nasal aspirator because all the little videos online were like, oh, the baby will be so happy. They'll even help you suck their snot. Lies all lies. That does not actually happen. And quite frankly, it never worked. I never ever saw any mucus coming out of my baby's nose with the nasal aspirator. So Nose Frida is amazing. And as long as you're using it consistently, generally you can avoid, you know, a whole bunch of buildup of mucus and avoid the ER or the bronchiolitis clinic or the pediatrician altogether. So Nose Frida is item number one. Item number two is cloth diapers. I am not washing poop cloths. It, I, I just can't. More power to all those moms who are earth friendly and are using cloth diapers for their babies, but I just can't do it because we actually do use cloth diapers as burp cloths. So regular burp cloths, we were gifted a ton of them. We used all of them. Thank you all of our friends and family who purchased all of those wonderful, beautiful burp cloths. So this is your regular burp cloth or at some point during your baby's life, you're absolutely going to need burp cloths all the time in every room. Just have them on the ready. Um, but what I found is that the burp cloths weren't really actually that absorbent. They kind of moved things around and didn't actually absorb or, or clean off anything when we were using them. And so instead, 
we used cloth diapers. Now the cloth diapers are pretty much the exact same size, um, but I love them so much better because the cloth diapers are cheaper. You get them like 10 in a pack and they're only a couple of bucks versus two burp cloths for the same price. Um, in addition to that, the cloth diapers are super soft because obviously they're meant to be worn on baby's bum all day long. They are also very absorbent. Why? Because they're meant for wet and dirty diapers. So they absorb um, anything that the baby's spitting up or anything that you need to clean up very well. Um, and they wash very well. So cloth diapers for burp cloths are absolutely amazing and I love them. You know, we are actually going to use Lily's old ones for new baby. I will still get her some new ones because I feel like every new baby should have new things. That is item number two. Item number three is um, an item that is geared toward nursing moms, but it absolutely has other benefits as well. And um, so I am a nursing mom. I breastfed everywhere. I breastfed at church. I breastfed at work. I breastfed at daycare. I breastfed in, in stores, Walmart. I <laughs> breastfed everywhere, restaurants. I didn't care if my baby was hungry or this was the time in which I felt like baby needed to eat, then I breastfed, no hesitation, doesn't matter where I was. But these nursing cover-ups came in handy. So my favorite one is actually, I believe, by Kia Babies. I'll put a link to it but down below. But um, it's black and white. It's not as cloth-like as this one, um, but this one works just fine and the black and white one is already packed up ready for baby number two and so i just grabbed the one that it was out so essentially um it's just a large spandex item okay and so you're literally just going to slip it over your head baby comes underneath with you it's breathable it's lightweight it washes really well and so you are able to cover up and nurse everywhere. Um, I had several times where people were like, where's your baby? And I was like, she's under here. <laughs> um, so they are amazing. It helps you be discreet. You're comfortable. You're not all hot. Um, it, it's they're amazing. Um, I literally kept this in the little bag that it came in and stuck it in the diaper bag. So I always had it no matter where I was. I have two of them. I actually didn't really need two of them. One will do, wash it, bring it back out. It was fine. Um, but at any rate, the second thing that you can use this for, especially if you're not a nursing mom, you can actually use these as a car seat canopy. It stretches large enough that it'll literally go over your car seat handle and the hood um, and the base where the feet are. Um, and so it protects baby from wind. It protects baby from rain. Even on super sunny days, sometimes I had to use because the canopy was just not doing anything. So the nursing cover up and the car seat canopy are amazing. Now I will say that it's advertised that you can also wear it as a scarf, but that never really worked for me. It could just be me. I'm not very good with scarves in general, but it is also advertised for that. So if that works for you, more power to you. Good for you. Congratulations. Super excited for you. Yay. The nursing cover up and the car seat canopy are item number three. I've only been able to find them on Amazon. I'll put a link to them below. But at Essentially what they are is they're two magnetic balls and they have cushion straps that go on the baby's car seat straps. And what you're going to do is you are literally going to, oh great, my baby got food on my shirt and I'm recording a video and didn't even notice it. Great. Anyways, um, you're going to connect the magnetic ball onto the cushioned magnetic strap. So magnet to magnet, they connect to each other and it holds the straps out of the way of the baby as you're trying to get them in and out of the car seat. Now, by no means are they perfect. Yes, they, you know, they're not like heavy duty magnets. They're light magnets. So it, it may fall back down um, and, and detach, but 
I still found that they're extremely helpful. You know, when you don't have them, the car seat straps actually lay in the bottom of the car seat and then you're literally putting baby directly on top of it and you're literally like digging the straps out from underneath baby and they're like, you know, it it's not comfortable for them. It's a pain for you. So we use these car seat straps. Sometimes the strap stays on and you can literally just slide baby's arms underneath the straps. Um, for the most part, they hold them enough so that even if the baby drags them down a little bit, they're still right there on the sides and you can easily assess them. I really feel like it's probably saved us a bit of time getting baby in and out of the car. Um, and so I love them. Now I will say that they come with plastic rings that hold it onto the car seat handle. We did snap one of the plastic rings. Don't ask me how, cause I don't really know, but it was broken one day. My husband actually put it back on with a zip tie and I actually kind of like the zip tie better. Well, just make sure that you clip and sand down the zip tie really well because you, you know, zip ties can be a little sharp if you, if you cut them. And so you don't want to scratch yourself. You don't want to scratch baby. Um, but the car seat strap holders are item number four. Item number five is the around we go play and activity center. So I, actually shopped for this for a very long time. Um, these are running like $300 in other countries. Um, it was sold out in the United States when I was trying to get it while when my baby became an age where I felt like she needed it. However, I waited it out and I just kept searching on Amazon, kept searching on Amazon, and finally a seller did bring it back, which I was super excited about. We went ahead and bought it, the best $100 I ever spent. It's a round activity center with a seat and um, wheels. So you sit the baby in it, and even if they're not necessarily walking yet, they can learn how to go around the circle and walk and start using their legs and building up their leg muscles and it kind of keeps baby confined to one space so she's not roaming all around the house um, you know exactly where she is and it just has different fine motor skill um, activities on top of the table it has sounds and music and they even have a little book that they can flip um, it's really great little keyboard plays music keeps your baby entertained for a really long time in addition to that it has a cup holder and a little tray for food that you can pop in and out so that you can clean it or fill it um, so when baby gets of age and they're kind of using finger foods and things of that nature it you can do it all in the same activity center. The other great thing I like about it is the fact that you can take the seat off so that it's just the table. So when baby is standing or walking, it's still an activity center that they can use um, because they just stand at the table and play on it. Um, I am super excited to see how it works with two children. I did see a video of two children playing with it, which is essentially baby number two is sitting in the seat. Baby number one, who is older and standing and more independent, is just playing on the table. So they're both playing one, but they're at different levels. So I'm super excited to try that. Um, but that's the Around We Go Play Center. I'll put a link to it below. It is an absolute must. That's item number five. So those are my five items. I guess that was 10. Those are my five items that every new baby needs in their first year. So I appreciate you stopping by Jasmine Field Speaks. I am Jasmine Field. I, what I would love for you to do is to like and subscribe, share this video with your new mom friends or moms to be friends or even moms that are already moms and getting ready to have another baby and want it to be easier. Let me know if you have any questions. My question for you is what are the items that you absolutely had to have for baby? Or maybe you don't know because you're not a mom yet. You can definitely put down in the comments below what would you like to know about items that you hear other people talking about. Anywho, thanks again for visiting my channel. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next go round.